Kurt, you're a couple of days out now from a grand final. How does it feel? It's been a long season, but a pretty good one for yourself and the club. Yeah, it's been a long, you know, a long season. But, um, you know, I was expecting that when I first came. I, I guess, you know, if, um, if you're going well as a team, then it's going to be a long season, which is a good thing. I mean, yeah, we played in the Challenge Cup right through to the grand final. And unfortunately, you didn't, didn't get that one in the end. But, um, yeah, you got the league leaders, and then to be here today, in the preparation for the grand final, it's, it's been a, it's been an exciting year and, and pretty good. Uh, been, it'd be very good if, um, if we capped it off with a win this weekend. And you've had a long career, but a successful one. You know, you played Origin, you played Test footy, um, but the grand final was just a little. You made your debut just after the Knights. Uh, yeah, went in two thousand one. Yeah, made my de- debut in the two thousand and one. So I was, you know, I was part of the celebrations, and I, I could see what they, you know, a grand final win meant to the city of Newcastle, but. Um, you know, it's, I'm in a very similar situation here at Warrington where we haven't won a Super League grand final and uh, I can see that Warrington's a real working class town and I, I can understand what a grand final win would mean to the people of Warrington too. And one of your old mates, Joey Johns, um, obviously played here, you, you got Warrington to a grand final and he couldn't in a short <laughs> stint, so... Yeah, yeah I <laughs> mean, he, he, he got two at Newcastle, which is a pretty good feat. Yeah. Um, but yeah, look, he, he was, you know, he was a part of me coming to Warrington as well. He had a great rap on the place, and uh, Matty King as well, who's played here. So, um, but then you know, guys who, you know, didn't play at Warrington, who I've spoken to, you know, they had a wonderful time, um, their time, and their career in England. Uh, yeah, I think, you know, coming over here with an open mind and enjoying your footy and outside of footy hours to. Um, to try and explore a bit of the country, which me and my family have done. So, yeah, it's been really enjoyable. Glad I've made the move, and um, it'll be all worth it if we can tick this one off this weekend. And you must be very proud of the team on the way coming back from from Wembley. You know that was a, a tough loss, and also the injuries that you've had you, yourself have been out. But to get that league leader shield and then to knock off St Helens, I mean, it shows a lot of character. Yeah, I think yeah, you're right. I think it showed a lot of character after um, after the defeat at Wembley. I thought we responded really well just the following week to that. And I think we've been reasonably consistent throughout um, that period until until now. Obviously, we we had a loss two weeks ago against against Wigan. Um, for the last 20 minutes, we we you know, went into our shell a bit, and they they, they probably uh, kicked the, kicked up a bit of a gear and, and won the game. So, I mean, it builds up to a, to a great match today, um, uh, this weekend. Sorry, and looking forward to it now. And they are a big physical team. They've been in four grand finals in a row, so you know, you know, you've played them a few times this year. You know what you've got to do to, to get over the top of them, and it's going to be a, an almighty clash come come Saturday. Yeah, it will be for sure. And I mean, I, I think. You know, it didn't matter who you were going to play in the semis or if you win that play in the grand final. Anyone in the top four, you expect a tough game in the semi finals or, or the grand final. And, um, we expect a, a really tough physical game this weekend against against Wigan. And um, you know, we've got to be smart about how, how we approach the game and get through it.